All right, what's going on, guys? We're out here camping for the weekend. Squirrel. All right. All right, we're out here camping for the weekend. I uh, just want to do a little review on my core. I think it's a nine-person dome tent. This is my second time using it. Um, I'm not going to lie, the first time didn't go so hot. The first time we used it, we were up in the mountains of Pennsylvania. And it like really downpoured the one day. And I didn't have the rain fly on the proper way. Spider the camera. I didn't have the ramp fly on the proper way. And it got wet on the inside. The air mattresses got wet. The two twin mattresses, they got ruined. Had to throw them out. Um, the one you've seen in there now wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, that was that was like, you know, first time using it and it got wet. Uh then I realized, you know, what I needed to change with the rain fly and how I put it up. So like a normal person, you're supposed to stretch it out, out from the uh, tent itself. So that obviously rain falls over. What I had done was I didn't even use the center ones. I just used the outer ones. And I tied them down there at that point, at this point, and Rain was still able to get in all the way around. Well, not all the way around, just on the corners or the uh, sides. So this being the second time using it, um, last night, well, the first night I set it up, the first time, it was uh, it was dark. It was like 11 o'clock at night by the time we got there. And I basically rushed to get it set up. Last night we got here, it was like around 8.30. It was starting to get dark. And I also rushed to get it set up. As you can see, I rushed laying the tarp down. Um, I did have a tarp over it. And then this morning I was like, you know what? I'm going to set this up the right way. So it was supposed to rain all day, but it hasn't. Um, it rained a little bit this morning, but not much. I even had the windows open and no rain got in. It was so light. But I have these set up the proper way. I didn't even use these. These ones on the inside. Um, and I feel like this is a much better way. Obviously, like every tent review you read online, someone's going to have uh, an issue where it leaked. Every single one. Like I looked at, you know, 15, 20 different tents I wanted to buy uh, that fit anywhere from 9 to 12 people. And every single one of them had at least you know, five reviews that said, oh, it leaks. Uh, you know, so they're waterproof to a point, obviously heavy rain or um, continual rain will just, they'll start seeping through. I want to buy um, waterproofing like spray and see how well that works. If it does, uh, and then give that a go. But anyhow, I've rambled on a lot. Um, so to get to the review of this thing, um, it, so it's the nine person, so excuse the mess, but I fit a, um, I think that's a queen or a full, I think it's queen, a queen size air mattress. Um, that thing, I'm not too impressed with it. Like it just, you pump it up full of air and like it doesn't necessarily leak but it almost leaks and then i had two twin mattresses on this side and some space in the middle and it's not super big i mean it fit us it's not super big it's not as big as i thought it would be and especially it being a dome tent like i'm six foot one so staying up on the sides it is a little like you know you stand up in the middle you're i'm fine but on the sides, it's a little, you know, whatever. Just like little comfortability issues, I guess. But it's really not that big of a deal. Um, like I said, the first time I used it, I didn't set up the rain fly the proper way. And rain got in. But it was only on the sides, like where the windows are. Um, so really, what, like, 
now that it's set up like this, I don't think it would be an issue. And our campsite this time isn't the one I would have preferred, but I have like ideas on how I want to set up tarp systems over over the tent to help make it even better. Um, but I literally just booked this site like three days ago and you know, it's at a public campground, obviously. So it wasn't ideal, but it is what it is. So hopefully this, it might rain tonight. Hopefully this, this will work. If it doesn't, I'll have an update on that later in this video. But as of right now, this seems like it will work. Um, I'm not going to go inside because, like I said, it's a mess. Uh, that's what happens when you camp with kids. Um, as for airflow, it's not hateful. Like, if I go in there now, you can kind of feel the air moving through here. But it's not too, you know, it's not perfect. You're not going to get perfect airflow through a tent. You're just not going. It's not going to happen. Um, so that's kind of what ex what's expected with anything. Um, I have a little fan that I bought off Amazon, and I'll include a picture here. Um, it's a rechargeable fan, and you know it works throughout the night. And then it wasn't fully charged last night when I went to use it. It died maybe three or four o'clock this morning, but it's still like it like it was nice while I was on. But then once it like died, I wasn't you know it's it was still not as bad uh, inside the tent. I wasn't you know sweating like crazy or anything like that. And I am in Pennsylvania, so like I said, you're not going to get perfect airflow through a tent. You should expect that, but it you know for what it is, it's not bad. The only gripe I have with the tent is, with every tent, is these stupid stakes. They hit a minor rock and they just bend. Uh, this one's, you know, pulling out of the ground, so I have to fix that. But you hit like a little rock like this, instead of pushing it out of the way, it just bends instantly. Happened, I think this tent came with like 12 or 16 of them or something stupid like that and probably 80% of them are bent so before this trip I went and ordered these steaks off of Amazon and I'll include a picture here and these things are awesome they're really heavy duty you know they're in there you really gotta pull on them to get them out also I didn't use a stupid little hammer you get from Walmart I have a Tecton 16 ounce. Um, you know, this thing's for like mechanics. Um, and it's awesome. And you know, it chipped away here some, but you can't complain. Like, I have no complaints with this at all. Like I said, I didn't really set the tarp on the bottom up the way I wanted to. Obviously, kids kick dust and rocks up on it. And. I have ideas with the tarp system I want to run over top of it to kind of go from like trees in the back and loop them up and over at an angle and hopefully that'll work well and then I see you know, these I mean I'm really pulling on that and it's not coming out so it's not too bad um and then I just use this. I just use the stupid stakes it comes with to hold these, but I'll probably buy another pack of those um, that I bought off Amazon for this, because you know they have this little loop in here in the little hole, and I can just loop the string through it, and that'd probably work perfectly. So to finish up, all in all, also nothing I'll add. I basically set this up by myself. A uh, little help from a seven-year-old, but it wasn't bad. Um, maybe it takes 10, 15 minutes tops. You know, when you buy a tent, like, you know, I read certain reviews online. They just have these expectations, and I think they're unreal expectations. Uh, 
like you know you want to have a tent set up in two seconds like that's not camping like how do you think it was when people were you know setting up wall tents or even today still setting up like the old-fashioned wall tents for hunting uh, in like alaska like how are those like those you know the, the tent itself and everything weighs like 80 pounds you know people are going to complain about that no so it took about you know 10 15 minutes to set it up myself pretty much you can set up yourself you just have to understand um that it does take time like you shouldn't go rushing it like i set it up at 8 30 last night it was getting dark i've set it up at 11 o'clock at night get you know obviously at dark okay here sorry spider so with that being said like most of it is just people having unreal expectations like i have no real complaints with this except for what i did wrong like i said if something changes tonight i'll let you guys know as of now i've had no no other issues um to fit nine people it fits five comfortably uh well two adults three kids comfortably for the most part um like i said it is a tent it's not a house or a cabin it's a tent so for what it is no complaints um yeah, don't really use the electrical holes. I haven't had any complaints with bugs getting inside through any holes or anything like that. Um, all in all, I'd give it probably probably 7 or 8 out of 10. Um, you know, for the price, cost, everything like that. So I think that'll uh, take care of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Um... Take care and have a great day. All right, so it's the uh, next day here at camp. It rained pretty much all night long. Uh, since I have it set up the right way now, this rain fly, um, it didn't get nearly as wet. I noticed there were some spots, I think it was like along through here, um, where it kind of started seeping through. But like I said, like, people have unreal expectations when it comes to this um so it's really not that bad i still give it a seven or eight out of ten uh i just wanted to add that since it did rain and uh got to experience what it was like with the rainfly set up the right way all right that's all then bye